Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I have decided to look at some dead YouTubers. They haven't died, but but what I mean is channels that have kind of fallen off or fell from grace and just like, I don't know. But I'm gonna put them in a tier list for you today, ranking them on this scale. You got definitely fell off. These are YouTubers that I, I believe have like completely fallen off. Like they don't really upload, there's not a lot of views left. Fell off a lot, it's a level under that. Somewhat fell off, meaning they kind of get some views, but they don't really they still have a fan base, barely fell off, didn't fall off, and just, I don't know what happened to them. So that, that, that's the scale I'm gonna give y'all uh, for today's video. Couple updates in my life. I finally got a haircut, thank God. Uh, it, it was looking pretty bad up here, I'll be honest with you, but I'm glad I got it cut. Um, but there's something, there's something more that I have to do. It's America's, it's America's favorite segment. Welcome to the part of the video where I shout some of you out for commenting. And I also ask you to please, uh, if you want to, go down below and give a like and a subscribe on the channel. It would mean the absolute world to me and it would really help. Uh, what I do in this segment is I show some of my favorite comments. Look at them. Why do you, I just like, like, look at all these comments. And Coleman, if you're watching, here's your comment, buddy. It's at the very top. You know I got you. So if you want to get shouted out in a future video, leave a comment. And if I like it, I may just put you in the video. Like and subscribe. Don't forget. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm not going to do all of these YouTubers because this video would just be too incredibly long. But I am going to do a, a good few of them. I'm going to pick and choose some. Uh, let, let, let's, let's begin. Yeah, so the first one we got is iDubs. Now, I think for his YouTube career, it's not really at the same caliber that it's always been at. For him, I feel like he's he's still, he still has a substantial career. He's a co-founder or whatever, or co-host of the Creator Clash, which was just like a weekend or so ago, which is a huge event uh, where a bunch of YouTubers box each other and smash each other in the face. So I don't think iDubs has like fallen off completely. Is it a little bit fall from grace? And is it like, has he fallen off a little bit? Yeah, but uh, I believe that iDubs dubs has somewhat fallen off from the face of the planet i'll i'll say that our next man vsauce now for this ranking i'm going to talk about their relativity um for this ranking i'm going to be talking about like if they're even still relevant so the relevancy so for vsauce i think he's still a little bit relevant yeah he's fallen off a whole bunch he's not as popular as he used to be i still see him on instagram and tiktok sometimes but i have not watched a vsauce video in about six years so for vsauce i'll smack him it fell off a lot because i do think he's fallen off a good bit not a whole lot our next man is ninja uh ninja's a guy that i, I used to watch a whole bunch of not really a lot recently but I do see him. He used to only exclusively stream for Twitch, then he moved to Mixer, and I think he went back to Twitch, and I think now he's not signed with anybody, and he's just streaming on every platform. So, like, when this guy does a live stream, he's streaming to TikTok, uh, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, probably Twitter, probably Mixer. I, I don't even know if Mixer's still in business. Who, who, the, who, the, who, the, is he at the same place that he used to be? No, but I, I think he's barely fallen off based off of like just actually, no, I'm so stupid. I'm literally so dumb. This man has fallen off a lot, but he's still out there. And every time I tune into one of his streams, which is not often, it's probably, it's only when I'm scrolling through TikTok, he's got a lot of people. So yeah. Next up, we got old Logan Paul. I used to love Logan Paul. I was a big fan of him back in 2016 and 17. And then he went into the forest and I just stopped watching him. That's kind of when his career started to spiral. Then he got a lot of respect from people. And then that controversy with George and the whole crypto scam and all of that. He went from prime to crime. This man, not at the caliber he used to be. I think he fell off a little bit though. Next up is Ray William Johnson. He's YouTube royalty. Always will be, will forever be like one of the top dogs in YouTube. Uh, I, I think he's one of those guys that will like be shrined forever as like one of the OGs. Like when you go to his most popular videos, they're all from like 10, 11 years ago, which is a long time ago. And then he just kind of stopped uploading. But now I see him all over TikTok and all over Instagram and he still posts YouTube shorts. So he's back, just not at the same place he used to be. His influence back in the day was pretty significant. I'll put it somewhat fell off. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and fill in some of the people that I don't know. I know these people, but I'm gonna fill in, like, I don't know what happened to them, if they still even relevant. Okay, we're back. Let's talk about PewDiePie. I love PewDiePie. I'm biased for PewDiePie in this scenario. Has he fallen off? Yeah. 
but it's because he moved to Japan uh, with Marzia and he like is starting a new life over there and he's basically gonna have a kid now like PewDiePie is gonna be a father I grew up watching this guy and now he's gonna be a dad but he's like just as much of a dad as like some friends from middle school that are like having babies right now so I'm just like that's a weird scenario going on in my life and that's just like it's just weird to see but not weird it's it's interesting i'm digging myself a grave here ain't i but pewdiepie uh, i don't know pewdiepie i don't really think he really has fallen off a lot he's fallen off but it's, it's barely next up casey neistat i don't think he's really fallen off a lot when he moved to la he fell off but now he's back in new york he's making videos again not as much but you know next up is ali a i don't think we there's there's any there's any there's any decision here uh he's definitely falling off Next up is Joji. I, 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 I like talking about, or Pink Frank, sorry. Pink Frank is dead, not dead, but he's he's not making stuff anymore. Joji is now the new guy on the block. It's basically just Pink Frank's new thing, Joji. Has Joji fallen off? Heck no. Uh, he's one of like the biggest artists in the world. Has Pink Frank fallen off? Uh, the easy answer is like, yes, definitely. But th it's obvious reason, because Joji now exists. Next up is Faze Rug. I think he's fallen off a good bit. Hot Ones hasn't fallen off at all. They're still in their prime. They're like on what? They're like 10th season or something? I don't even know. But Hot Ones, I absolutely love the show. I don't watch as much as I used to, which could mean that they've fallen off. I don't think they've fallen off like really at all. I think they're still going strong. <laughs> Next up is Dream. I think Dream has fallen off a lot. Like just go to his YouTube channel right now and look at his views before the face reveal. Then he has the face reveal. And then after the face reveal, he's not really getting as many views as he used to at all. Like, yeah, uh, he had the face reveal that's 56 million views. Then he s survived Antarctica, which only had 6.6 .6 million. Then speed run Minecraft twice at the same time, 5.3. Minecraft Hossin Simulator 5.8. And this Minecraft mod will change. So yeah, uh, Dream's definitely fallen off uh, to put it simple. I'm gonna wrap things up here with this guy. If you want a part two, which I'll probably make one just because I kind of like doing this. It's kind of cool. Just kind of like sitting back and talking about stuff, you know, chilling. The final guy, Jax Films. I think Jax Films has fallen off. Definitely, definitely, definitely fallen off. Does he still have a presence on YouTube? Yes, he still has a presence on YouTube. Is it as strong as it used to be? Definitely not. Is he doing Yesterday I Asked You Still a little bit? Is he answering the question the day after he asks it like he used to? No, he's not. Yes, I think Jax Films has fallen off. It's, it's just to put it simple. Do I still love him? Yes, I still watch his videos. I think they're very funny, but I think he's somewhat falling off. And that'll conclude part one of dead YouTubers, but they're not dead. They're just not uploading anymore. So yeah, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. You may be in the next one. Goodbye.